Welcome to After School Reviews. Please subscribe, turn on that bell icon. Please like this video and leave a comment down in the comment section. Today we are having a look at the Gremlins Ultimate Stripe. This figure is by NECA Real Toys and it's the right. end of the Gremlins. So on the front you can see it says we're here, has Stripe here, and he's cut out. You know, he's marked off the cute, clever, mischievous, dangerous, and intelligent. And you can see that there. The side says Gremlins Ultimate Stripe right there. Some back. The back on this is pretty cool. A different read up maybe than the other ones. I'm not for sure. You can see some product shots uh, at the, you know, actually some movie shots right there blurred. And then you can see the tape here as if it's film, movie film. And you open this up and you can actually see Stripe right there with a skateboard, a blade, a saw blade, and a chainsaw. So do not go anywhere. We are going to have a closer look at this figure open and out of his packaging. There is Stripe open and out of his packaging, as you can see, he's over there. Pretty cool, same body as the other Gremlin, but first we're going to have a look at his accessories. Comes with a very shiny, shiny saw blade, as you can see there. Pretty reflective, and it's really sharp, got these nice sharp edges. Uh, you can also see this little groove over here. Now, actually, NECA did give us this back with the original Stripe, but you can kind of see the edges on this are a little round. It's a little thicker or something. It's kind of maybe smaller. It's more rounded on this old one, kind of rounded edges than this one. It's kind of like just a flat square. So there's a little nice comparison there, the old versus the new one. He even comes with a skateboard, which is pretty odd, but uh, he uses it in the movie. You can kind of see the wood grain actually when you reflect it. You can see that nice wood grain. Even when you don't reflect it, you can still see it. It's a really nice looking skateboard. Just odd that we have one, and it's in one sixth scale, I believe. So you can kind of see that there. Nice texture on here. Wheels actually turn, and they're loose, so I guess that prevents them from breaking, because you can kind of see how loose they are there. They're not like gonna fall off loose, but they're like wiggly loose. So you can lay it down. You can see all the nice detail there. Really cool little accessory. And you get this, oops, yellow Texas Chainsaw Massacre style chainsaw here for you know stripe NECA didn't do this for their old stripe but I'm just happy they did it with the new stripe and kind of see there's maybe a paint flaw there but you can only see that really under the lighting right now this is a really hollow piece this yellow part is but it's 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 re really cool though the cord there it's longer in the movie but that's okay you can kind of see all this nice detail here and I saw something on here made me laugh yeah the uh, heavy duty Instead of D-U-T-Y, D-O-D-Y, like a duty. Kind of funny. I saw that on Mr. Evil Cheese's video. You can kind of see that there. It's really cool. Really big. Because the Gremlins are in a different scale than all the other NECA figures. They're in the same height. But they're not in the same ratio scale as in proportional as like other characters. So here's what Stripe looks like. Now if you have a comb, you can comb his hair up or to the back. Here you can see it's up like it is, I think, on the picture. So I kind of wanted to have it like in the pictures, just for this review. It's usually not like that. It's usually slick back. You can kind of see the nice body here. Same body as the Ultimate Gremlin. And to prove that, I can actually grab the Ultimate Gremlin. You can see that there. A little bit of paint differences, but that's because you can't paint the exact same thing over a whole line of figures. It's just impossible to do, right? Unless you're like, you know, have a lot of, you know, really... Perfect at that, and just now you can kind of see maybe the backs of these are a different color, maybe of a shade. You can see that there. There's also kind of like black spikes at the end of these, and I don't think I remember that. But both of these figures have them right there in the back, kind of like their tail thingy. And here's the uh, other. The main difference with both of these figures is, of course, the head sculpt and the accessories. But the main figure itself, it's it's the head sculpt. You can see that there. His mouth is more of a smaller mouth, and it's more his face is actually scar scarier. I think the ears are the same, but I think the heads are definitely different. Eyes on this are more evil. Definitely tell that. It's really scary with his teeth. And it open and closes just like the other one. With this stripe figure, actually, if you had the other two, the Gamer Gremlin and the Ultimate Gay, or the Ultimate Gremlin, I keep doing that. So if you have both the Ultimate Gremlins, 
uh, and this guy. You can still get them with a weird, crazy look because of all their accessories. You can just stick their accessories with them. You can create a diorama with them, like on the floor and stuff like that. So it's, it's a really cool thing that you can do with all of these. Here's what Stripe looks like with the chainsaw. And of course, this Stripe versus how we've always seen kind of the other stuff has like a mullet and you can see how it's attached there. And I like this because I'm pretty sure this is how it is in the movie and I like it. It creates more of a, you know, an 80s gremlin. You know, mullets. You gotta have a mullet, you know? So I, I do like how Stripe does have that. And you can kind of see it in the back. So it just it, it's really cool. It brings more life to the character. And he looks menacing with his chainsaw. So I don't know why NECA didn't do this with the first Stripe they did. But there was probably some reasons. Maybe they just didn't want to or they didn't think he needed the chainsaw. There is with the blade, and I had to use some tack stuff there, so you can kind of see that there. But, you know, he, I mean, that, that, if that doesn't scare you, if I saw that, I'd be flipping out. Even with the other saw, you know, the saw. Sadly, unlike Mohawk, this guy didn't end up coming with a gun, but I've had this gun, like a 1 6 scale type of gun, in my possession for a while. And I've used it for the Play Arts Kai Joker, just because I think he looks really cool with this gun. And now, I've been keeping it, I did keep this with the other stripe back in the day, but, and if you like, look back at my videos, you'll actually see where I had this in the other stripe's hand. But I'm going to put it in this stripe's hand just so you can see if you have a 1-6 scale gun, what it would look like with stripe. Here's stripe with the, uh, you know, the gun, gun in his hand. It's a little heavy, because it's like an actual type of metal gun. And if they made one, it'd probably be a little bit less heavy, it might be even hollow, just to save a little bit of extra money. But he looks really cool, but I do like the chainsaw better, because he did come with the chainsaw. And the chainsaw's a bigger weapon, and it's really, really larger than him. So this is still okay. But, you know, it would have been a nice accessory if they would have included it. But I don't think they could have, is what they said. Just like the other gremlins, this stripe is no limit to articulation or expression. Of course, he's got the hair, so you can really do more expression with that, sort of, in a way. You can stylize it. But again, he has the same ear articulation as the other gremlins, which means you can create different looks if you kind of spike these up. He looks real mad, and of course he has this mouth, so you can shut the mouth, you can open the mouth, and you can even put a cigarette with the other ultimate gremlin in his mouth, and then he looks really cool. He looks like uh, Arnold or something, is really what he looks like when he does that. Articulation on this guy is going to go pretty fast. You can kind of see the articulation in the ears here, forward, back, like you're really going to use this, but you will for, you know, movement. Two ball joint type areas in the neck there. Shoulders will go out. They'll go forward, they'll go back, they'll bend at the elbow. They'll ah, this one will swivel. The other ones didn't like, could, could didn't quite do that. All right, he'll swivel too as well, and it'll actually come in on the little hinge right there. Same with over here, ball joint in the torso area, so you can rotate and you can get a nice crunch there, nice crunch back tab. Hips are on like ball joints here, so you can kind of move it quite a bit, rotate it too as well. Kind of a lot of joints down here. You can bend it right here, bend it right here, and you can also have a ball joint down here. So you can make one leg short and one leg really, really long if you wanted to like that. There he is with the, uh, you know, the skateboard. He looks kind of cool with it. Kind of an odd accessory for a gremlin, especially Stripe. But it, you, know, you could use this for other figures, and maybe that's what they were planning. You know, sometimes like you can use this for other figures just because why not? you know, for other accessories. So I do like that they come with this. It's a really nice little accessory for Stripe. There's the Ultimate Stripe Gremlin figure by NECA. This is an amazing figure. And now we're going to get some comparisons. Not with some other figures, which I usually would do, but we're going to see it with the other Ultimate Gremlin figure line, which started with the Ultimate Gizmo a couple, back, a couple years back. And I figured, well, well, I guess we might not get any more. I don't know what I said in that video, but check that video out if you can find it. But let's have a nice comparison look. And there we go. This is the ultimate gremlin, ultimate stripe, ultimate gamer gremlin, and ultimate gizmo with the happy face. Of course, gizmo, you could have bought really two of those or three of those if you really wanted. The ultimate gremlins, you can buy probably three of those if you wanted. You can at least have two different looks. Like this version right now is like the movie look. I didn't have the bar scene version over here, which is what the same figure is. And I showed that in that review. Check out those other two reviews. But, of course, there's one more figure that NECA did that was a gremlin back in the day. It was, like, actually, it was last year when they released Ultimate Ash. And his mouth opens. The other one's mouth's open. 
but his mouth tends to stay open and you really can't shut it. But there's what the ultimate figures look like and I took the gamer gun out because I'm about to do something. I'm about to take you guys back in time to 2003 when NECA released their original Gremlins line of figures. So here it goes. Ready? Yeah. This is 2003. So these figures aren't necessarily terrible but this is the original lineup and I'm happy that they've redone all of these and even given us an extra Gremlin to go with Stripe, so we don't just have a Gremlin and Stripe. So that Gamer Gremlin did help, at least for me, because I wasn't going to buy two Gremlins just for uselessness. I'd be buying, like, two Terminator, you know, figures. It, it, to me, it would be useless to me, because I'm not putting them on display. Much more, maybe a smaller even shape, you would say. This one has a neck, this one doesn't even have a neck. Old Mohawk, new Mohawk, mouth articulation, really shiny spikes on this new one. More paint on this one, for sure. This one looks like it's just a prototype. But that's the difference between these guys. And a lot of the sculpts the same on this guy. Just carried over. Not going to do that for, you know, Stripe or the Ultimate Gremlin either. Just this guy. Ultimate Gremlin versus the original Gremlin. A lot, lot darker. And sh they're a lot darker, man. It's really dark. This one's kind of a lighter everywhere. Grayer. Kind of dirtier. Nastier, grittier. This one's just more sleeker, slimmer. Gremlinier. Longer arms. And, of course, original Stripe. Next to NECA's new Ultimate Stripe. Chainsaw. Here's the back of them if you want to have a nice back look. At the difference, drop the saw blade, that's fine. Really big difference. NECA has come a long way on these gremlins, and I'm happy that they still have come back and did this, because these figures I've had for a long, long time, and pretty much these are the first NECA figures I ever had before I knew what NECA was, and got me into what I'm doing now. So this figure is definitely worth it, especially pick up all the other two. It'll be around like $100. You can go to like GameStop and order all three online, and you can, in like a week you'll have them. And I think it's worth it. Same thing with the turtles, you guys should get the turtles, I'm kidding, you guys probably can't, some of you guys can't get the turtles, but this is an amazing figure, you guys should pick this guy up. He's really cool, he has nice, nice accessories, of course if you have the other gremlins you can put them next to him, and he just looks really cool with them, he can play the video games if you want. So, before I go, I do want you guys to check out my channel, if you haven't already done that, and it says show these channels some love. Look at those. Go subscribe to those. Check out all those people's videos. There's only like four or five channels over there. And you can be one of those channels. All you have to do is message me on Instagram, Facebook, or I guess that's it. You can message me on YouTube and I'll tell you what you need to message. And you can get there um, and I'll add your channel on there if you guys just talk to me for a little bit. Uh, you can show these channels some love. You can be that channel that needs some loving. So thank you guys for watching After School Reviews. Please subscribe. Turn on that bell icon. Please like this video and leave a comment down in the comment section because I will answer it, I promise.